What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Home Field Podcast. So in today's video, we're going to start a new segment on the channel. This new segment is going to be called the What If segment. So the basic premise behind this idea is pretty simple. We'll pick a what if scenario from anything in the major sports. We'll do a quick dive or sometimes maybe even a deep dive into the topic at hand. And then after that, the best way that I see the results of these videos or these segments is to just encourage dialogue. I have my opinions on the matter. I do the best to go through the information that's at my disposal and then give my opinion based on the info that I have. But like I said, it's all subjective. And the best thing that I could encourage you guys to do is like, subscribe, and comment on the video below. I definitely We'll try to get to all the comments that you guys post as best as I can. Obviously, probably can't get to them all, but I'll do my best to hit the ones that definitely stick out in my mind. So with that said, we'll transition into the first what-if scenario that we have. And that would be if Tom Brady wins Super Bowl 55. So as it currently stands, the Tampa Bay Bucks, led by Tom Brady are going into Super Bowl 55. They will be going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, who are led by Patrick Mahomes. And it is a dynamic matchup between the greatest quarterback that has ever played the game going up against one of the best up-and-coming quarterbacks that the league has ever seen in Patrick Mahomes. So this is a matchup that I think people would love to, or would love to see. They're definitely excited to see it. But we'll start from the perspective of what happens if Tom Brady and the Bucks are successful and they win Super Bowl 55? So we'll get the, the little facts, but important facts out of the way first. So if Tom Brady were to win the Super Bowl in a week and a half from now, he would become a seven-time Super Bowl champion with the potential of possibly winning his fifth Super Bowl MVP award. He would also become the first player in NFL history to win a Super Bowl in three separate decades, and this is where it does get a little bit sub subjective. In my eyes, he would become the greatest football player who has ever lived. And he would arguably become the greatest player in North American team sports history. Now, that last point I'm very particular about. Because I separate individual sports and team sports. So I'm not talking about people like Muhammad Ali, Tiger Woods, Serena Williams, Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic. They're pretty much discounted from this argument because they play individual sports. Their results are solely based on their execution on their sport, whether it's in boxing, tennis, golf. What they do is solely based on how they play their game. With Tom Brady, though, it's different. He is the quarterback, which is one of the more important focal points of the team. But he's one component of the team. There are multiple components that go with it. And my point is, is that he would become arguably the greatest player in North American team sports history. I'm not saying that he would be the greatest team player in North American sports history. He would definitely be worthy of that conversation because as far as I'm concerned, it, is, it would no longer be a discussion of whether or not he's the greatest football player in NFL history. If he were to win this Super Bowl in a week and a half from now, it goes from that discussion to the next level. He now reaches the pantheon of the greatest sports players in North American team sports that we've ever seen. And there are really only three other guys that he would be next to if he were to win the Super Bowl next week. Obviously, would, the first one would be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan won six NBA titles. He also won six NBA Finals MVP awards uh, to go along with five regular season MVP awards. You have Babe Ruth, who is widely regarded as the greatest baseball player who has ever lived. He won seven World Series titles in his career. He won three with Boston, and he won four with New York after he was sold from the Boston Red Sox to the New York Yankees. 
And then you have Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky is similar to all these, to both of these players, because he's widely regarded as the greatest hockey player that has ever lived. Tom Brady would join this elite company. And just to kind of focus on Tom Brady here for a second, because I could go over the stats that he has throughout his career, pretty much by and large in regular season and in playoff play. He's either first or second in major statistical categories like touchdowns, yards, and his win-loss record in both the regular season and the playoffs is just staggering. He's number one in both of those by a mile. And to get into his achievements, like I said, he's already a six-time champion. He would become a seven-time champion if he wins a Super Bowl, but he also has three MVPs, and then he's been on multiple all-decade teams, specifically the 2000s and the 2010s, and he was on the NFL's all-century team just a few years ago. So if you were to look at Tom Brady just this year alone, he goes from New England, he goes to Tampa. Tampa last year was 7-9. and nine. They had Jameis Winston at the quarterback position. Jameis Winston threw for over 5,000 yards and threw for 30 touchdowns. But he also threw 30 interceptions. You take Tom Brady, move him from New England, he goes to Tampa. This season, he throws for about almost like 4,500 yards or maybe just a little bit underneath. He throws for 40 touchdowns and he throws 12 interceptions. Tampa goes from 7-9 and nine with Jameis last year to 11-5 and five with Brady, and now they are in the Super Bowl the first year he gets there. Tom Brady is pretty much the main determining factor for the success of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Their defense is pretty solid. They have some great players on this defense, like Devin White, Levante David. They got up-and-coming stars like Antoine Winfield Jr. They've got a bunch of players on the offensive side of the ball as well. And Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Scotty Miller, all of these guys are being utilized to the advantage of the team, largely led by Brady's success on the field. This team could have actually been pretty decent last year if they had a competent quarterback play. They are getting it from Brady this year, in in large part due to his leadership and his execution on the field. They are in the Super Bowl. And we're talking about the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Bucks here. The Tampa Bay Bucks have either the worst sports record as far as their winning percentage goes in all professional sports. It's really a two-team race between them and and the Charlotte Hornets or the Charlotte Bobcats. And it, they're off by maybe one-tenth of a percent in winning percentage. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been mired by mediocrity for decades. Their last Super Bowl appearance was 18 years ago. Granted, they won it, but they have never been anywhere close to it since then. One year with Brady, he shows up, and they're in the Super Bowl. And I'll tell you this. I think in the NFL, it is much harder to get to and win the Super Bowl than it would be for these other players like Michael Jordan, Babe Ruth, and Wade Gretzky to win their respective championships. Because in football, each game is do or die in the playoffs. You've got one opportunity each week if you're to succeed in the first round, second round of the playoffs to move on to that next week. In basketball, baseball, and hockey, you can technically get away with having a bad performance here and there in the playoffs and make up for it because most of these playoff series usually go five or seven games. In football, it is not like that. Brady has taken the Bucks through wild card weekend, beat, beat Washington, went to the divisional round this year. They beat New Orleans and beat Drew Brees. They went to Green Bay in the championship round for the NFC. And they beat Green Bay. And now they are playing in their home stadium for the Super Bowl with a Super Bowl title on the line here. In a large part, Brady has been the motivating factor behind their success. I'm not saying that he's been the only part of their success 
the defense has definitely stepped up throughout the entire season to get them to this point. But they finally got competent quarterback play, and it was the GOAT who is leading them to this point. And like I said, if Brady were to win his seventh Super Bowl in a week and a half from now, this no longer is a conversation about whether or not he's the greatest football player in NFL history. He is now in the discussion of the greatest, he's one of the greatest team players that we have ever seen in North American professional sports history. And I think if anybody is going to discount him from that argument, I think they're doing a disservice to him because he is greatest personified to every definition of the word. He has been absolutely spectacular throughout his 20 year plus career, whether it was with the Patriots, now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I think we have to give respect where it's due because this guy has been to 10 Super Bowls in his career. 10. Meaning half of the seasons that he has started as a quarterback in the NFL have ended in a Super Bowl appearance and six of them have already ended in a Super Bowl championship with a seventh potentially ending in another, with the seventh one potentially ending in the same result. It's just, it is unbelievable to me what Tom Brady has been able to do in his 20 year career. And like I said, you have to give this man the utmost respect because his game has been so consistent throughout the 20 years that he's been in the league. And he has lived up to and exceeded every expectation that was set in front of him when he first came into the league. He is, in my eyes, the greatest player that's played in the NFL, as far as I'm concerned. And if he wins this Super Bowl in about a week and a half from now, he then moves into one of the greatest team players in North American professional sports history. That's pretty much going to wrap it up from me, you guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, please comment below. I want to definitely start a conversation around this topic. I think it's definitely something that you guys will enjoy. And I just, I love the conversation. That's what I'm here to do. And I, I love the discussion of going back and forth with you guys. It's, it's fun. It's entertaining. And I definitely appreciate it. So with that said, thank you guys again. And I will see you later.